All right, shout out everybody. <clears throat> Before we get started, let's face the east. Give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great men for making us this truth. Honors to the brothers pushing this truth. It's going to like for people to do so. Shout out to the whole we lay. One third of our people, or the Israelites, who's going to return back to the Lord so that he had mercy on them in the sound of judgment. While the two thirds of our people are destroyed in judgment. <clears throat> so last time, last week, when I did a live lesson, we were talking about the promises of salvation. And we were showing how salvation is only for us, the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And just a, sort of another way to think about it, we the only people who need saving. Now, when the Lord said that He would save us, that means He would save us from the hands of our enemy and from the hands of the people who oppress us, being in the hands of the people who brought us in subjection, who forced us under them. We are the only people in America who was brought in subjection, who was forced <clears throat> under the hand of the white man or the hate of And also, these other people, they don't need saving. They're not being oppressed how we are. They're not forced to live in the slums and in the ghettos. They're not being killed and shot down by the police on a regular basis. <clears throat> They're not dying from medical malpractices and medical mistakes in the hospital. Uh, these other nations, they don't have Planned Parenthood in the Chinese neighborhood, in the Arab neighborhood. They come to America <clears throat> to get all kind of business loans and handouts that we can't even get here, even though we was born in this place. So we are the only ones in subjection, being oppressed. Therefore, we're the only ones to be saved. Now, just because we're a Negro, Hispanic, or Native American, Hey, that don't mean the Lord gonna save all of us, because He's gonna destroy two thirds of our people. Two divided by three is sixty-six point six. So sixty-six point six of our people are gonna continue in wickedness. And wickedness don't just mean killing and murdering. Wickedness is living not according to the scriptures, because the scriptures is a way of life. <clears throat> it's just a way of. I'm gonna get down because it's getting windy. It's the way of life for the Hebrew. Because these scriptures is the way of life for the Hebrew people. So if you're not living according to this way of life, that's wickedness. You could be a good American citizen. Speaking for our people, you can be a good American citizen. But if you eat pork and you keeping the Sabbath Sunday and you worshiping the white Jesus, that's wickedness. No matter how good you are, you could never have told a lie. You could donate. Everything you got, help people all the time, children to read the Bible. But if you pray to the name Jesus, if you don't celebrate the holy days or try to acknowledge them anyway, that's wickedness. So wickedness by definition is not living according to the scriptures, which is the way of life. So any other way of life, even if it's one small difference, that's wickedness. Now I forgot the point that I was trying to make. Yeah, 66.6 .6 of our people, two thirds, are gonna die in judgment for living not according to the scriptures. And that's Zechariah chapter 13, verse verse eight, maybe eight through nine. But now we are gonna continue with the promises of salvation. I finished the first half last week, but we are gonna bring out the last half of these scriptures and we are just gonna see where the Holy Spirit takes us. And oh, just a heads up, those of you who see this video, my main account is under fire. I just got off my first strike Friday. I'm already on my second strike. First strike, you can't upload for one week. I'm on my second strike now, which is not good. So now I can't upload for two weeks. That means next strike, they're gonna take this video, they're gonna take the page down. So this will be uploaded, all my new information will be uploaded to my backup pages over the next couple of weeks. And um, I got a fire big lesson coming hopefully in the next 10 days um, that I'll upload to my backup channels and I'm also going to upload it to my main channel <clears throat> and it's going to get that main channel deleted like it's got two strikes already we might as well finish where we started we're going to get it deleted but it's going to get deleted once I put that video up and that video is going to be going in depth in the Revelation 13 
13 to 17 because when you read that there's three forms of beast marks it's more than just the mob there's three different kinds and we break that down with that being started uh <clears throat> let's get on with the promises of salvation which we are going to need because we got major events coming up so we're going to talk about them in order so i just did a lesson which i upload before this but a major cyber attack is coming to america the cyber attack is going to disrupt this entire flow of american life as we know it the transportation the electric grid the power supply the water systems the internet um, hospital services all this stuff is going to crash so we're going to be kind of like living in a uh, in a stone age as they say and then during that time without anything working people going to flip people switches is going to flip and with all this stuff crashing there's no hospitals there's no fire stations there is no police who are they going to police if they can't drive to them because the car is not working how are you going to call the police if the phone's not working? So that's going to lead to somehow commercial law to take up trouble, which I've been talking about a lot in the past couple of months. It really ought to be. And during that time, we're going to need to be covered and protected by the mark, blood, and how we shot. Because the past over just happened. that we have, whether you got one cent or you got one billion dollars, no, none of us going to have any money. And Oprah, as rich as she is, she's a billionaire. She's not going to have any money when the economy collapses. And that's why we need to come out of America, as we're commanded in Revelation 18 and 4, to come out of this place. And that, that don't mean physically, it means spiritually. Stop investing all your time, energy, blood, and sweat to the space of America because it's coming down and it's going to crash and everybody who has all the energy to this place they're going to be in great shame because they're going to be let down greatly by the space of America and shut up and when you come out of this place you mean to be immensely that means you now have nothing to do that means you now you can invest your time in the scriptures to seek the Lord wholeheartedly with all your heart and soul And I love this one. We're going to go here. Jeremiah 16, verse 4. All right, you, I know you can. I'm out here for people to love. I hear you. Man. Then uh, I feel like any questions, you know. Yeah, you know. We, uh, this, this, this talking, because uh, it's a lot of deception here in America. Um, a lot of people have been brainwashed. They're like trying to get people to read for themselves. Like, a lot of the pastors don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. They all, most of them get a 503C from the government to teach in a certain way, to teach only small portions of the Bible. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, sort of got some illustrations and scriptures and all stuff. And, uh, just here to read it to whoever wants to listen, whoever got some time. Yeah. a lot of people, a lot of questions since the CB.
Oh, no, nah, I'm just... Oh, no, just, uh, adjusting the camera. Make sure they can, uh, try to stay as close as I can when it ain't put up because it's so windy. So, yeah, it's cool. Oh, thank you. But, uh, the big thing that's going to Revelation 18th chapter, it says America is going to be destroyed. So, some people agree, some people don't, but America is Babylon the Great in the book of Revelation. In the Revelation chapter 18, it says, her that she be burnt with fire. That she's lived, give her just as much torment and sorrow. And that hers is speaking of Lady, Lady Liberty, because America is the only place uh, whose mascot is a woman. So, uh, just, just one of the many clues that we walk past and see every day that's pointed out in the scriptures. Yeah, and that shit seems closer and closer every day. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's for real. yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, the news is not reporting everything. There's a YouTube channel I follow, but Iran, China, North Korea, the fire like over seven I missiles see, yeah. like in the past. I don't know, but like since January. Just a couple of days ago, he was launching another one. Yep, he yeah. did. I, I think seen, I seen a video they released where he was coming out like pointing and never. That guy, you saw that? What was that like the the Hollywood? Sort yeah, of thing? yeah. <laughs> C crazy. That dude is crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, cra yeah. But, but that's exactly how that will happen. It's mm -hmm. crazy people like that. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, All right, thank you too. Uh, he didn't really have any questions, but y'all hey, can hear him. He, uh, this is a picture I showed him. I got a picture of the destruction. It's an the destruction. But a lot of people see hacks now more than ever. And that picture is major difference is destruction is going to come, but people can see it coming. You can see the countries bucking up. You can see the countries going to war. You see North Korea firing missiles every week. You see all these countries developing hypersonic missiles. So we see the signs of the missiles and destruction is coming. Back in the time of Noah, Noah far, according to the scriptures from what I gather, nobody can see it coming. Like that, it rains sometimes. People say, like, you know what? It's raining. You know what? It's not raining no more. But Noah said that the world was gonna flood by something called rain. Like it came out the blue, and that's what this destruction is gonna come out the blue. And you actually see the signs to that destruction. You know, people see the signs. So 
that's equivalent to you being in a burning house and you stay in that house. <clears throat> and that house symbolizes America and you will be burnt up with the house. And that's gonna be a very frightening thing because dang, I ain't got the picture, I do a lesson on it. Or a lesson. I'll do it on my next morning video, but there was a season set there, so they showed a nuclear missile crashes the ground. Text on that missile, and it was written May 2nd. I'm sorry, I think it was written May 5th, 2022. Now, but that just pretty much shows, and that might not be the exact date, but it shows that it's close. This is uh, for us to prepare ourselves how to get out of this place of America and also to prepare y'all. And this is like doing community service for your how about some your house shop. Because right now the whole world is on trial. Now we're trying to do community service in, in hopes of receiving redemption from the Lord. <laughs> Actually, this is what I did last time, but we're going to cover it again. Because what was our, self, our first salvation? It was, a time, it was a time of Egypt when the Lord brought down the Egyptians who was oppressing us and he saved them from under their rule. That was our first salvation. Basically, the second Exodus here in America. Now let's bring this out. Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, save Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So this is saying that there's going to come a day we're not going to talk about the Exodus of ancient Egypt no more, but we're going to talk about a new thing. I'm going to read that verse over. Now we can continue on to the next verse. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Again, but the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel. about the 
Salvation is going to far exceed the Exodus of salvation out of ancient Egypt. Now we're going to continue with the curse. But the Lord did this, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And if they brought the names, whether he had given them, so the Lord said, What's going on? How do you get to the parents? How do you get to the parents? that that would be the land of Israel and Jerusalem. So that's salvation in a nutshell. The Lord going to save us from all the places that he scattered us, he's going to take us and put us back in our own land. Because the part of salvation is being saved from the enemies, being saved from your oppression, for the people who brought you a subjection, but it's also being put in your own land. Because if you was in our own land, we won't be having suffering this oppression and racial discrimination that we suffer. It's because we're living in the land of our enemies. We're living in this land who our enemies stole my blood. So we're living under the hand of a bunch of murderers. Jeremiah 23 and 4. 
and I will set up shepherds over them. Hello. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, says Yahweh by Shimei Hamashai. Oh, and that's the spirit, that's the chariot. I wish y'all could see that, but I don't think the computer would pick it up. Man, I can't flip the camera neither. But the last part of this verse, and now we set up shepherds over them. So we are the shepherds, the man of the Lord, who are bringing out the complete truth of the Bible. And we know that it's talking about, not talking about the pastors, because if you read verse two, it's actually condemning the pastors who fed our people lies for all these generations, who fed you lies, and then they sent a collection plate around the church. They fed you lies, and fundraisers and sell food out the church houses. So the Lord will set up new shepherds, which is not going to just the past. Somebody in a nice building. But let's read it again. And I will set up shepherds over there, which shall feed. get our people to read the Bible for themselves because the church they push lies for these generations and uh, pretty much to tell the people they gotta come back to the Lord because he's gonna destroy America in this, this nuclear war Revelation chapter 18 it tells you how a specific land mass is gonna be destroyed you know, uh, we've been saying it's America for a while but when you look at the news and you see everything that's going on ah yeah, yeah. But that's what he's telling the people. And that they want to come back and before these missiles be in the air. So that's pretty much what we're doing. You see yourself on the sign over here? Oh, not lost, but that's what that means. Uh no, it's that's what that means. That's uh, what that means. Yeah, but I was part of that. The people pretty much who identified to the light about who they truly are. So, you wouldn't have to say yourself, but yeah. But everything could be revealed because there's other people who claim to be the lost tribes that's supposedly in the land of Israel right now, but it's all going to be revealed who the true people are. So we just have to wait and see. Yeah. I like the, I, I never mind the waiting game, so we said everybody, everybody can hold out. 
That's that's one of my favorite phrases instead of people we see. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, because a lot of times, um, not talking about this stuff, but it's usually debates or conflict so of interest. Are, so this is the special belief. What is your belief here? Uh, oh, my belief is the scriptures only. Uh, yeah, yeah, not. I'm sorry. Nah. So, so the original form of Christianity, after the Messiah left the scene, you had the Book of Acts, Peter, Paul, and all them. That form of Christianity, yeah. Um, but you, that would be since the marriage. So, in the ancient world, the form of having sex with a woman was like we get married. A lot of times when you read fornication, that spiritual fornication, like, because he, the Lord compares Israel as his woman, as his wife, and he would, he, he would be our husband, speaking metaphorically. So a lot of times when it says, like, mentions fornication, that's serving other gods, or making other gods your husband or your king. So, because uh, in the ancient world, even like Jacob, he had four wives. Um, and that was one of them. You said close to godliness? Uh, I don't think I read that anywhere. It's not read. It's not nothing that you could read. It's just observation. Uh, I feel like it's a way of life. Uh, I feel like uh, if God is in the uh, hearts of like both parties, I feel I'm like. I'm just asking you that you love Santa Claus. Oh, you have what? Yeah, you love Santa Claus, so I'm just asking. Oh, you talking about the crystals? Oh, yeah, I like crystals. Especially Amethyst. So, yeah. Any more questions? I'm out here to read scriptures. Because I like a, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. We keep talking. Yeah, like a lot of pastors, they like paraphrase and say stuff, but they don't read it word for word out of the scriptures, which is something that me and other people that do what I do. Uh, Oh, okay. So, I mean, as far as America being a better line, I can get with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. As far as... Definitely. As far as, uh... Lost tribes and... You know, the religion makes I can get with it. But um, I, can, I can get with a message, you know? Yeah, so, with the lost tribes, what, what's the... Uh, what is it that, that you don't know? Lost tribes. But we say they are... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. How you Oh yeah, we saw. Okay, yeah, so uh, we can identify as being a Lord. Well, because history has always been recorded. There's a lot of stuff that always been documented from even the Bible itself is history, even the times Have after the Bible. Have you ever read the Quran? Uh, nah, I know it speaks sort of, sort of some of the same stuff. I mean, even though, like, I mean, like, God will give you a will, and you can uh -huh. Yeah, so the main point, uh, we, we know these are lost tribes because we read, uh, so we, we go home, we should read Deuteronomy the 28 chapter. Um, so verse 1 through 14, the Lord has told us, now that I'm bringing you out of Egypt, you follow my law, statutes, and commandments, I set you above all people of the earth. Verse 15 through 68, he 
you said you don't follow my commandments, I'm gonna put all these curses on you. And then these people is living out those curses. And pretty much when you read the curses, they all come back to the to the broad word oppression. And then um, the promises of salvation, the Lord was saying, pretty much in the last days, these people will be oppressed and scattered all over the world. And these are the only people who were scattered all over the world when we look at points in history. Oh, I believe I am. But, uh, but, uh, oh, Deuteronomy 28, 68, the one you'll pay extra attention to because the Lord tells you that he's going to scatter his people by slave ships and that the places that he will scatter them to, that they would be sold to their enemies for bond men and bond women. So pretty much, once they get off the slave ship, they'll be sold to the slave ships. So that's, that's pretty, that's probably the strongest curse, uh, showing that these people so people. Oh yeah, 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 in America. Yeah, because uh. Oh yeah. Uh, mm hmm So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Are you talking about like the, the commandments yeah, I'm and stuff? Yeah, I'm talking about all of that. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, kind of like doing community service for the Lord. But I'm um, also, oh, oh yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it tells you that America's gonna be destroyed for all the blood that they shed on the children of Israel. Cause I can look it up, but it might be Deuteronomy and Leviticus. The Lord said that you shouldn't pollute the blood, no, that you should don't pollute the land. And it says blood defiles the land. And the only way to cleanse the land is by the blood of the man who shed the innocent blood. America is deeply polluted with the blood of the Lord's chosen people. So the only way he can, the only way he can cleanse it is by the blood of the people who shed the blood. So America has to be wiped out to cleanse his land. And also that he's destroying this place for all the wickedness that he did that they did to our people in his land. And Revelation 18, somewhere in there I can look it up, but it says rejoice over her, um, you apostles saints because the Lord God has avenged you on her. The Lord is on this place and still avenging us on this place. So this place has to go. <laughs> and then when the Lord saved us, he said, as a matter of fact, I'm going to bring you a couple of scriptures. I'm going to bring you the first one that I went into. That is one of my favorite scriptures. All right, girl. While you're standing here, I'm going to bring up some more scriptures. Uh, Genesis, I think 15 and 13. Then you know, like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that whole line. All right. We are children of Abraham, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And he said unto Abram, Go for surety, that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that is not there. And they shall serve him. And they shall afflict him for 100 years. And also that nation whom they shall serve, I will judge. And afterward, they should come out with great substance. So, we've been here around 400 years. It is, um, this time. Yep. Our conjunction Yep, yep. This place we serve. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so far, what does this place not have the captivity about up? Oh, she did? 
did say that though? Dang, that's deep. A lot of uh, the celebrities knew it even going years back. But yeah, them, them, them a couple of scriptures. Let's see, what else was I getting? Then even some of the ones I got here, Deuteronomy 28, 48. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right here, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 48. Thou shalt, oh, 41, thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Be the only people that are babies was forced into captivity, forced into slavery. And if we didn't have babies, they may have slaves. No, I was about to say, I mean, we could be from the south going back farther, Where are you but from the north? yeah, I'm from Michigan. Like, my family, great great grandparents and great great grandparents from Michigan, but beyond that point. Oh, oh, Hags, no, you the 313. I'm from the SAG. See, that's all good names. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's tight, though.
Oh, now yeah. Now you got people like us in the embassy trying to get the message to move. Uh huh. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Baby, I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull up a cup. Oh, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Identity to the black man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's so crazy how they depict them, don't it? Oh, man, yeah. They say delusion. It's so delusion. They told us, you know, the copper scheme. What the fuck does copper look like? And how they depict that as a white man? I don't understand. Yeah, they put copper right there. That. not believe they know so do believe but if you got to come out here just like in the days you no know, it did for 120 years and nobody believed them except his immediate family so like community service for the lord i got a i met i got probably like three or four people who follow me strong who uh watch most of my videos you know, so many hours i put into it most people be a sin. I don't I don't smoke anything. I drink from time to time. Wine most of the time. But cuss word is not is it's not you a uh ah. you Yeah I'm married. You know? Okay. According to what the Bible <laughs> says. Yeah but yeah uh I can just tell y'all you must be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> no but I so I got a just uh I got one woman though, like, I ain't doing a lot of people. You have to be a Oh, no, no. That's good. Oh, no, thank goodness, because I lost a lot of sleep. Being permission? Yeah. Honestly, you wouldn't be out here humping on anything. No, not anything, but. You losing your life force? You know, that's a life force. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. 
I was trying to say that once it proceeds out, we, we going up to be safe from the destruction. But when the destruction over, the Lord gonna set us back in our land. Like he's not gonna he's not gonna well he's gonna renew the earth. That's why he says it's gonna be a, a new heaven and a new earth. We're not, the they gonna die too. Uh a, a small they remnant. They're not bad though. Huh? They're not bad. Well a, a small we got the tribe again, Native American. A uh, remnant of them gonna be saved. That'll be the blood. No, not melanin. It'll be the bloodline. Cause it's, it's melanin. It, well, we got some some of our people who would be on the sign, who's like way less melanated than some of us. Like, like it's some really really it's light. Less melanated, like what? It's some it's some it's some uh, real light skinned Cubans, even Negroes, some light skinned Mexicans. I don't know. I just like, I don't know. Please. <laughs> 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 my heart, baby, because I don't know. Oh. Uh, even our, our real light skinned people, they got some melanin. So what about the slaves that came here right back to their world? Yeah. The slave masters were forced to disappoint them, right? How you feel about that? So the, so the slave masters were forcing this message because for a long time he couldn't read the Bible. Then they gave us a slave Bible. They took out the book of Exodus. Uh, they took out a lot of the books of the prophets of the Lord coming to save his people out of the hand of the people that oppressed them. They took out most of that stuff we gave us, sort of like the New Testament stuff. Like have hope, endure your afflictions, and everything will be all right in the end. So that's the message they forced on us. But they also forced that image on us too. But this message here definitely. got the, the same kind of understanding because a lot of people say the Bible predicts itself or it's fairy tale stories or prophecy all throughout the Bible and in the, the, the points like it's, it's, a, it's a piece of it all you know yeah. you look into the stars you look into the sky it is it is open happens we become sister if we look at history those those points in history was actually prophecy before they happened now we can look back at history and look back at those prophecies like us going into slave ships Deuteronomy 28 68 that's an important one um, 70 AD the Romans destroying Jerusalem Malachi 1 and 4 pretty much that the Roman Empire will come back they rebuilt their desolate places in the Roman Empire is America. So if you look at a lot of these federal and state buildings, they mimic oh, the Roman yeah, architecture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They mimic the architecture. Oh, yeah, yeah. They keep doing that. That's what it is. They keep doing that. Yeah, Malachi. Yeah, that's why I think so. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to see your Christmas? So, like, you know, when we be at the mall and they got those stores they had like different crystals but I always, I'm always drawn to the purple ones. You know, I used to wear jewelry but like six months back I was like man I don't know where an amethyst around my head. So I looked one up and found it and while looking on the internet I saw that they had black crystals because I'm the type of, ah, yeah 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 I'm the 
type who like to have a blacked out car, have everything black on black, is it just stand out? It's perfection though, that's good. Yeah, I'm from negative, and yeah, yeah, I read about it a little bit, so I'm like, okay. And then I heard black was kind of like, mixed clarity, like, the mind. Yeah. And what is it? It's a clarity, like, from a third eye. Yeah, from a third eye, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're like, the second Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Oh, you talking about this breastplate? Listen, back then, you know what I'm saying? Back uh-huh. then, listen, it's right here. It's like yep, yep. Part. Yeah. So that's how I looked up because in reality, who was it? Because I live with a mother, I live with a mother. Uh-huh. So she's the mother of God, my family. So they're on the back. Okay, anyway, I'm back also a 
marks. Because we read in Revelation 13 and 17, it says he can't buy, say, he who got the MOB, who got the name of the beast, or the number of his name. What's the number? What's the number of the beast? That's the barcode and UPC number that's in that VAX. That would make VAX my definition of those marks. I'll tell you real quick. Because people, it's good to be focused on the MOB, but people be overly focused on that one and don't look at the other two marks. in the curtain of promises of salvation. Now we're going to read some more. <coughs> and then that lady, she was asking some very good questions. Uh, those are questions that you, if you move to this truth, that you should be able to ask somebody that's proclaimed to be a man of the Lord. That's somebody saying they're a man of the Lord. They can answer those questions or really answer any question going into history to the Bible, you don't need to be following them. The same question she asked me, a pastor can answer those questions. Jeremiah 23 and 4, and I will set up shepherds, us, the man of the Lord, who bring you over them, and shall feed them this truth. And they shall fear the Lord, and be this man. This man means what being confused, not knowing who you are according to the scriptures, not knowing the true name of the Lord, not knowing the prophecy that's going to happen.
here and I'm just reviewing them so I know what is what and where is that. So, Therefore, say, thus says the Bible, all know that it is known far off among the heathen. So if you live in among the heathen, you know, these other people, you cast us far off out of our land of Israel. That's why we live in America and wherever else we live in the world. So let's go back. Therefore, say, thus says the Lord Yahweh, all know I have cast them far off among the heathen, and all know I have scattered them among the countries. Yet I will be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. So we are little sanctuaries. The church is not a sanctuary. The scriptures say the Lord doesn't dwell in a building made with hands. I can't build a building and say that the Holy Spirit is here. have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel. So yeah, one thing me and the woman was talking about that I was trying to show her there's a couple key scriptures that I couldn't remember but I know I've seen them recently. But the Lord said he will gather us, assemble us out of the country where we were scattered. says and I will give you the land of Israel because the Lord is not going to take us to the throne of heaven which will be the spiritual world we're going to stay on the earth the Lord made the earth for us took us to punish us, the white man did way more evil toward us than the Lord had planned by design. Now the Lord is going to punish them for being evil to us as they were. This is talking about the Edomites. Then they shall know that I am Yahweh their God, which caused them to be led into captivity. I have gathered them unto their own land. See? Yeah, the Lord poured His Spirit on us, the house of Israel, the little sanctuary, the remnant, so we turn back to the Lord. The Lord didn't pour His Spirit on these other nations of people, these other countries, these foreigners, only the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And like I said a minute ago, the, the Holy Spirit is selective in who it is. You can't pray. Say you gave your life to God and be baptized and say, Yeah, I have the Holy Spirit. You can't take the Holy Spirit by doing a few acts of Christianity. The Spirit has to choose to enter into you.
because you go up to the altar in church and give a testimony or speak, that don't mean the Holy Spirit entered into you. Now the Holy Spirit can lead you to give a testimony that might hit the Lord's elect that's in the church. But the Lord will lose you. The Lord will use you for the sake of the elect. For the Lord can use somebody to give a testimony because it might be an elect in that church to hear the testimony whom the message is really for. that came to Job, the son of Pepsi. for his people, the heritage of Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Because they don't want to scatter us. They don't want to part of the land of Israel. Meaning they took it and did all kind of stuff to it. But let's go back. They say, I will gather all the nations and bring them to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will lead them there for my people and for my heritage of Israel. And again, the Lord says, they will plead with them for his people. How is the Lord going to plead with these people? He's going to show that he's going to plead with the people by fire. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. 16. There for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, a part of my name. So, pretty much, the Lord is going to gather all these nations to plead with them by fire. And that would be by the nuclear missiles. So, the Lord is getting all these countries that oppressed us and scattered us, and He's going to bring them together to judge them by fire, by these nuclear weapons. Again, Amos 9 15. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled out of their land which I have given them. 
So the law said you, you're not going to be poured out of our land no more. Because you got poured out by the Babylonians, the Romans, the Assyrians, the Edomites. You got poured out of our land by these people. But we're not going to be poured out no more. It's meaning that we're going to be put back in that land. Said Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shine thy God. Says our God. So now we're going to hit Zechariah 3 14 through 20. Oh man, hold on. wrote something down wrong, I'm going to have to go back and look over that. But we're going to go on to the next one. Zechariah chapter 3. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. I think that's it. I went to the wrong book. Alright. So Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 14. <clears throat> Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice. thy judgments. He has cast off thine enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt see thee in the no more. Thou shalt see thee in the more. Thou shalt in the captivity in the first place. And that day, there shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not thy hand, Zion, let not thy hand be slack. He will say, He will rejoice over thee with joy. to whom the reproach of it was a burden because our reproach was a burden because of our reproach of our disobedience to the Lord that he took the burden of the curses on us which we will suffer in his presence in his death so the Lord is going to save us out of that behold at that time I will undo all that afflict thee so the Lord is going to undo these people and I will save her that halts it, and that gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and the fame in every land where they have been shot. Captivity before your eyes says you have about shimmy how shy. How you doing? Hey. So now we're gonna read Zechariah chapter three. We're gonna start at verse three. So 
I think that might have been the wrong one. So we're going to go on to the next one. And again, we're getting the promises of salvation. The Lord is saving us from all the countries where he's got us. The Lord is saving us from all the people that he sent over us. In this low place in the earth, being oppressed, being put to shame, and the Lord going to remove all of that from us. And and his father Jack Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, "Blessed be the Lord of Israel, for He has visited Jesus' people." So the Lord is only going to save His people because they're the only people who need saved. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. So the Lord has raised up salvation for us, which will be his people. How you doing? So, it's, so yeah, the Lord's only going to save his people. We're going to read it. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from all the hands that hate us. So salvation is the Lord saving his people from the hand of the people that hate them. So the Lord will save his people from the people who oppressed them and took them captive to perform the birth that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Israel, my Savior, and the oath that he swore to our father Abraham, that he will grant unto us that we being delivered out the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. So yeah, the Lord's gonna save us so that we can fully serve him 100% according to the scriptures. So verse 6, 71 again, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. So we have to be saved out of this oppression. We have to be saved from the hand of the Edomites, which would be the white man. So next we're going to get Revelation 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. So the people who live in the land of Israel right now, who say that they're the Jews, they're the Israelis, they're the synagogue of Satan. They are lying. They was put there by the synagogue of Satan to confuse us. They're trying to take our spot as being the Lord's chosen people. That's the work of Satan. That's a lie, that's deception. That's Satan's greatest tool is the lies he tells. So let me read this again. We're going to read it all the way through. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. And this is written in red, so this is written in blood. For Yahweh Shai said with his own mouth. He's going to make those who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. He's going to make them come and worship at our feet. And this is going to be like we get taken up in the sky. The Lord's going to set us back on the ground. And on this very ground, is the people going to come worship at our feet. And, and they're going to know that it's us that the Lord loves, which will be the lost tribes of Israel the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And we believe in this. And that's why when we go to Revelation chapter 13, verse 10, and he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. <clears throat> we look at this, these illustrations here. Who put yokes of iron upon our neck? Who, who stuffed us on slave ships? So we're gonna look at this while I read. He that leadeth in the captivity they let us into captivity, they're going to go captive. If you kill them, 
the sword must be killed with the sword. They killed us by the force of the sword. That's Ezekiel 35 and 6, or Ezekiel 35 and 5. So, you know, pretty much the whole, the whole 35th chapter of Ezekiel. believe in this that's our faith and with faith comes patience because you that means you're waiting on something that's not physically there and Isaiah 14 and 2 will tell you that we are going to take them captive whose captives we were and that we are going to rule over our oppressors for the very people that took us into captivity they went into captivity under us we served them now they're going to serve us forever and ever read Revelation 18 and 20 when the Lord uses Russia and all these other countries to shoot these nuclear missiles at America when this place is destroyed. As I mentioned to the lady a few moments ago, Revelation 18 and 20, rejoice over her. Who is this her? This her is Lady Liberty, the Lady of Kingdoms spoken of in Isaiah 47 and 5. So her is the Lady of Kings, which is the Statue of Liberty, which is America. So rejoice over her, or rejoice over America. Thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. So it's my remedy for the of the Lord, when he saves us from this nuclear destruction, the Lord is destroying this place for our sakes. The Lord is destroying America for the wickedness that they did to us, wickedness that they did to us, and the wickedness and lies and the destruction they, that they pushed out all over the earth. And when the Lord destroys this place, he's destroying it for us. So let's read it again. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. So all the Native Americans, they got slaughtered here in America, and they took the land. All the Hispanic people, all the land tribes that got slaughtered in the Caribbean and in South America, the white man took the land. All the Negroes that got forced on these slave ships, got tortured here in America, built up America, who still be tortured, oppressed, and racially discriminated again to against this day. The Lord is going to destroy this place for our sakes. The Lord is going to avenge us.